Hey guys, this is Morgan and welcome back to another video. If you have recently caught your first green end, you may be wondering, what's next? Well, in this video, I'll be guiding you through the first 5 key steps you should take after catching your green end. By the way, please like and subscribe, it's free and you can always change your mind later. Enjoy the video! To make the explanation of the steps easier for you guys to understand, I have to introduce a very special guest that you may remember from the previous video on end hunting. Let's call her Alex. By the way, Alex is actually an elite from one of my end colonies, but let's just pretend that she's a real queen for demonstration purposes. Although your first instinct might be to immediately throw her into a test tube setup or a formicarium, which many people seem to recommend, there are actually many, many other important steps before that that not enough people are talking about. Step number one, always, always get an identification of your queen ant species. This can be done through asking people from ant groups from various platforms such as Facebook or even Reddit. It would be best if you can get identification from a local group as it is likely that there will be the best and most accurate information there. Identifying your queen ant to at least the genus level is crucial as different species require many different care requirements from housing to diet. For the case of Alex, she's a black sugar ant queen, scientifically known as Campanotus oriventris. Moving on to step number two, you should always research about the species of your queen ant. The word research might sound scary to most new ant keepers, but don't worry, it's not as hard as you think. The thought of having to read articles or books may be off-putting to most people as it is difficult or time-consuming, but it's actually possible to skip that process entirely. Of course, reading and learning is always good, but you can always take your time doing that as your colony grows. So, what do I actually mean by research? All you need to research is actually the information that you need about how to raise your queen ant. This is usually just finding out about the housing requirements for the queen and the diet for the queen. This information can be found by just simply asking other ant keepers. Don't worry, all ant keepers started from somewhere and there is no shame to asking. If anyone ever shames you for being a beginner, you can always just get out of that group and join another one. I am certain that there are many other positive ant keepers and ant keeping groups out there. So, what are the important questions to ask when researching about your queen ant? Well, there are three very important questions that needs to be asked. Firstly, does your queen ant need substrate? Secondly, is your queen ant a claustral species or a semi-claustral species? And lastly, you should ask any other questions that you want to ask. By the way, don't worry if you don't understand any of the words I just said. I'll be going more in depth in the next few steps. Step number three, making the setup for your queen ant. After doing some research, you probably already have a rough idea on this. The answer you get from other ant keepers regarding setup is usually just whether the ant needs substrate or not. Of course, there are many different possible housing methods for many different species, but the chances of you starting out with such a species is quite low. But if you somehow do, feel free to ask other people about their care. In the next tutorial I upload, I will be explaining more in depth about housing for the ants and the different basic test tube setups. So do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss it. After researching about Alex, I found out that she does not need substrate. And now onto step 4, which is a quite important step in my opinion. This is about the diet for your queen ant, or perhaps lack of diet. When asking about your queen ant, always ask if it's a claustral or semi-claustral species. A claustral species, which is what Alex is, means that the queen of the species do not need food while developing their first batch of workers, otherwise known as the founding stage. Semi-claustral queens are the exact opposite. The queens of such species need to forage or hunt for food during the founding stage. So, you're probably now wondering, how do these queens survive without food for over a month before getting workers? You see, 
the queen ants actually do not need their wings anymore once they start founding their colonies. Most of the time, they will shed them off, making the muscles that they once used for flight useless. This is actually where they get their energy to survive such a long period of time. The queen ants will convert the energy stored in the wing muscles that they no longer require to use into other forms of energy, even converting it into food that she feeds to her growing young. And finally, the fifth and final step is to find a quiet and dark spot to keep your queen ant in. This could be a cabinet, a drawer, or maybe even just a cardboard box. But do take note that the area that you put her in has no pesticides, no poison, no direct sunlight, and most importantly, no loud sounds or vibrations. Vibrations can be found from putting her inside a shelf with a television or even just a fish tank above it. These factors will eventually cause stress to the queen and may slow her growth or even kill her. I actually lost all my founding colonies a few years back when my dad decided to pull an all-nighter watching the World Cup. This stressed and killed my founding colonies which were kept inside the shelf that the TV was placed on. Learning from experience, I've decided to place Alex together with my other founding colonies inside a cupboard box under my table for extra protection. And now, you know the 5 important steps to allow your queen ant to pass the founding stage healthily and safely. If you're still having trouble with finding your queen ant, or you're not sure if you're ready to start ant keeping, do check out my previous tutorial videos in this playlist I put in the description down below. I'll be making many more tutorials such as guides on feeding and much more. So do like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!